We've we've talked about your your first halves versus your second halves before tonight. You had ten and eight in the first half. What was different for for this go round? Just um trying to apply more energy in the first half than second half. I mean, could both have a lot of energy in both halves, but you know, just my main focus is get started early than rather rather than starting later. You guys seemed especially aggressive early on, setting the tone. I mean, how much of that was an emphasis going into it today? Um, we didn't we kind of we didn't want to come from behind, so. Um, Today we just wanted to, I mean, we should, we should do every game, but we just wanted to, to start off with a great start. Sky, uh, you scored your 1,000th career point tonight. Um, congrats on that, by the way. Um, what, is, what does that mean to you to be able to, you know, get that achievement? Oh, it means the world. Uh, it's just a, I think it's just a sign of hard work paying off. I'm uh, um, happy to be um, in that club and... Uh, I just want to thank everybody who passed me the ball and got me open looks and things like that. So uh, I'm kind of speechless. This is for uh, Javante and Schuyler. Uh You all not used to having 20 point leads lately. I mean, and, and, and how hard is it to maintain focus and, and have quality possessions when you kind of had that lead and uh, it just kind of just get a little loose with it? Um, we just got to continue to get stops, you know, and continue to stay with each other. And just, you know, all around just play hard like we did in the first half. Yeah, I think uh, when you're up big, it's uh, easy to let up. And, uh, you know, we've got to grow in that sense. And uh, hopefully put ourselves in more situations where we're up 20 and uh, can learn from it. Uh, Skyler, I know you just got your 1,000th point. But can you take me back, I guess, to your first points? Uh, I know it's probably a strange request. Do you remember that whole possession or that sequence that happened in that? God, I couldn't even tell you. Wofford I've been here a while. Well, it's definitely a Wofford game. Uh, I know what kicks I was wearing. I don't know uh, much <laughs> else. Uh, it might have been a free throw. I was wearing the 7210 uh, Air Jordan 11s. So that's pretty much all I remember. Javante, it's your second start in a row, your second game in a row where you've scored a good amount of points. Is the game slowing down for you your freshman year? Um, I'm just playing with the flow in the game. You know, the teammates getting me involved. I'm just – you know, looking for people to, so they can get open. You know, I'm just trying to run the team because Trey went all right now. You know, can't wait till you get back. Just play how it is. Nas, back here. Um, you guys had 40 points in the paint. Was that something that you guys knew you could uh, exploit against them, or was that sort of how the game unfolded as it went along? Um, that's something we've done last game. So we kind of wanted to piggyback and bring that to this game. Um, you know, we can obviously we have a a, a phenomenal group. Um, you know, we got a, a couple great bigs, and you know, we just pounded the ball inside, and we were all able to, able to convert. So. And that being said, next question for Javante: How glad were you that they were getting it done underneath? Just you know, based on how you guys were shooting outside, two of 19 from beyond the arc. Uh, we kept shooting, so you know they was getting offensive rebounds, going back up. But before the game, coach said feed the bigs in the post and let them work out and. Beat them in the paint, and we did. Hey, Nas, back here again. A after the Tennessee game, the, the past couple of days, uh, can you explain kind of your mindset and what you've been going through, and how good did it feel to come out and kind of get back to your normal ways? I mean, I just felt like, I mean, I didn't do enough. I mean, shots don't fall. I mean, you got to do something else besides score. I mean, defend, rebound. So that's what I tried to do. I mean, all I could do is laugh, but, um, you know, I was able to come out tonight. My teammates were, were able to um, help me to score the ball and rebound. So. That's what I did. And in the back, just for uh, Nas and Javante. Javante, if you want to start, just what kind of guy has Sky been for you? Uh, you know, a calming f influence, intelligence, you know, experience. What has he shared with you? And and Nas having a teammate like that. You know, what have you picked up from him in the sh in your first year? Um, Sky, a very smart person. You know, like in the game today, I was in the wrong spot on offense. I went in the open area, and he was like, "You got to go down there." And just he he very coach like he helped me out a lot. You know, I'm younger than him. You know, he been through it. He talked to, he talked to all of us about, you know, what he been through here, and he just helped me out a lot. Um, I mean, like Javante said, Scott is a smart person uh, on the court and off the court. Um, you know, one thing I've learned from him since being here is a hard at work ethic. Um, you know, he told, taught me, like, a lot of things don't come easy. So, you know, I mean, just working at it and get better at it, at it every day and just letting things slow down for you day by day. Sky, um, back to 
the points again. Did you know how close you were? I didn't. I didn't even know. Uh, I had no idea until uh, Kent told me after the game. So. And then for any of you, um, Tremont didn't play tonight, but he was here and with y'all on the bench. Um, how big was that just to get him with you? Mm, that's a big step uh, from his, from him not being here. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure he wants to be here. He's pushing, and we want him here. So, you know, I mean, for him to get back on the court, it means mean the world to us. Yeah, just him being around us, uh, you know, it's uh, it just shows the progress he's made that he's on his way back um, versus not being even in the building for the Tennessee game. So, uh, you know, we know he's going to come back and, uh, you know, do what he's been doing. And we're back full strength. And now we can, you know, make this push for an SEC title and a deep run in March. Um, today I was happy to see him, you know, in shoot around. He came, he was smiling with us. I was asking him how he feel. He said he feel good. You know, into the game, he was happy to see him again, you know, just cheering us on, telling me what not to do and what to do, just helping me out on the floor to be a point guard. Appreciate him. Yeah. This guy, you mentioned it playing for an SEC title. Is that something that is it okay to talk about now and look at and see and, and reach for? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> man, that's, I mean, that's what our eyes are on. Uh, we know we kind of control our own destiny. Uh, we just got to win out. So, uh, you know, obviously we have to focus on Alabama and take it one game at a time. But, man, it's, I mean, it's right there. So, uh, you know, and I, I think that we're just going to play even more hungry the closer we get. So. Um, real quick, this is uh, for Naz and Javante. Um, for Naz, you know, obviously the last game was tough for you. Um, you came back strong, double double. I just wondered if you could kind of discuss the thought process getting from that performance to this performance today. Um, and then for Javante, obviously, it's second straight start with Trey out. And you kind of consolidated on that big performance you had Saturday. If you could just discuss that a little bit. Um, just looking at the next play, uh, Tennessee's kind of my rear view. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of our rear views. Um, we were focused on Texas A&M and, you know, wasn't able to score the ball like I wanted to, but I mean, like I said before, doing other things on the floor, I mean, shows that, you know, I can do more than just score, defending, rebounding, block shots, um, steals, whatever I can do, just to help a team win and, you know, just focus on tonight and have being able to do all the things that I couldn't do in the Tennessee game. Um, Saturday, I had a big opportunity to help my team win. You know, the next day, me and Scott, we was in the gym together. We always work with each other. Coach said, if you work out, you got to continue to work out. Don't let one game stop you from doing what you've been doing. So I just continued to work out and came to this game ready to win. And, you know, we fought hard on defense, just kept playing and came out with the win.